Well, it happened, Novia Diablo, our sweetheart devil, the littlest chick who just refuses to grow over there, the little black one. She's starting to look like a pygmy among all the big ones. She escaped. She got out. Yeah. And we thought it would be Harriet, but Harriet led a charge after that. So they are uh, definitely active. Last night, one of the reds had a piece of yucky, dirty paper towel in its beak, and the rest of them were chasing her around and around and around the brooder. It was pretty funny. I really love this drive into Anchorage. It's uh, very, very picturesque. It didn't take it very often in the winter because the roads were icy and full, but of snow. So we're enjoying it now. Mike has an appointment at the VA center today. Yep. We'll see if the boys want to meet up for lunch, but we didn't plan ahead, so that's kind of iffy. Beautiful, beautiful river. One of the unfortunate things about Alaska is regardless of where you're driving, you're doing the speed limit, what the road looks like, could be icy. He's speeding up to get away from her. But uh, someone will always be on your tail. It's a state of tailgaters. There are some dead trees up there and this seems like a good day to cut them down. Makes me a bit sad as the dead trees are between us and the road, but... in a chicken coop where the trampoline is with where the trampoline is with the run going this way around the tree we think that chickens would have fun with the tree though we know there's could be predators to watch out for or we're thinking a chicken coop kind of right where this green post is again with the run going that way or see the orange traffic cone nearest to us putting the um, chicken coop there and running the run out to the left into kind of what we were going to do a garden spot. So anyway, those are the three things we're considering now. Do something enough times you will start figuring out easy ways to do it. And I am so excited because I found this thing in Mike's tools out there. I don't know what it is. It was in something labeled paint supplies. And it is going to work perfect to scrape the poop off the chicken stuff. Look, look at this. It's, it's working just great. It's work like a charm. All the dried stuff is off. Jody told me to put some wet paper towels on there. So I'm just going to let it soak while I take care of the shavings and play with the birds for a while. And I'm not going to put that in their coop because I know they're not supposed to have it. But boy, I am like using gallons of that stuff this week. Girlies, are you girly girls ready to help me? Huh? We're going to clean you up. Yeah. Aww. We put the dog outside. She's on a timeout. No more sniffing. That creeps me out. Okay. Okay. Are you eating my hands? Are you picking my hand? No food today. I really should quit playing with you and see how they're bouncing and flying around. I don't think they're going to last in this thing another five weeks. They've been here. Uh, the little ones have been here a week, the three, and the others have been five days. So we are stepping up the plans for chicken coops. Just a little note, this is working great for picking the poop out of here too. I don't know. If you're gonna have chicks, I think you need one of these scrapey tool things. So you can see just how big this hole has gotten. So this section in here, there's been a band of cottonwood takeover 
And so Alex came out and cut them down so they'd be easier to work with. The plan, let's get a pry bar in here, but the ground is still frozen, so we'll have to wait a while. Um, because we're getting some fruit trees and we want to put some berries in here. We bought the starts already for the berries, so we're just waiting for the ground to warm up. There are a lot of live shoots coming out of this tree, so instead of cutting it all up, they're going to leave some of it with the live trees because it will provide a nice barrier between us and the road. Last summer when we moved in, we couldn't even see any of the neighbors, so while we want to cut back some of the brush, we still like the privacy. And uh, the chainsaw was giving them trouble, so they didn't finish this project today. <laughs> in this neighborhood. Ariel walking Benny. <laughs> he learned to check for moose and I have been finding poop everywhere. But it's always surprising when they just show up. Kind of right where we planned on putting the chicken coop. This one's not moving and he was pretty intent on me, so I'm gonna go inside, I think. Ah, that's better. Well, gee, we cut down all those little brush up there. I guess they want to come eat now. I am just a little worried at what's going to happen to our fruit trees and uh, berry patches. Just like that, they kind of disappear into the brush.